trigonometric equations, tricky things these, and what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to try and solve this one. My first problem is that it is a mixture of sine and cosine. That's a problem for me. I need sine, cosine, a tangent in the equation, but I can't deal with mixtures of those things. So I am rather hoping that you have at some point met this idea that the sine of an angle divided by the cosine of an angle is always equivalent to the tangent of the angle. And knowing that, I can divide both sides by cosine, cosine of 2 theta, both sides. And if I do that, cosine divided by cosine is 1, and 2 sine divided by cosine is tangent. And so, dividing both sides by 2 now, what I will see is, I will see this, and that's my solution to part A. Next thing I need to do is I'm interested in angles that give a tangent of a half. I can ignore the idea of 2 theta. Don't worry about that. That's something that the longer we ignore it, the less problematic it is. So I'm thinking of angles whose tangent is 0.5, 1 half. So I'm going to use a calculator to do the inverse tangent of 0.5. And that should give me all the angles that I'm interested in. So inverse tangent of 0 0.5. Let's go to my calculator here, check you're in degrees, and inverse tangent of 0 0.5. And we have 26.6 is what we're looking for. 26.6. Let's get back to my problem. So my first angle is 26.6. Here I hit what is often the second big problem of trigonometric equations. What are the other angles that I'm interested in? Now, if the first one is, let me think of my circle, starting at 0, around to 90, around to 180, around to 270, and back to the start. The first one that I'm interested in is here, 26.6, and there will be... Four to consider as I go around my unit circle. 26.6, 180 minus, 180 plus, and 360 minus 26.6. Um, some of those are positive 0.5, some of those are negative 0.5 when I do their tangents. Um, in this quadrant, cosine is positive, so tangent is negative. I don't want that one. In this quadrant, all are positive, so I do want that one. Here, only sine is positive. I don't want that one. And here, tangent is positive, which means the other one I want is here. So the other angle I want, the first one at 26.6, and the next one here is at 180 plus 26.6, 206.6. And you can check that on your calculator. Try doing the tangent of 206.6 and see if it comes 0.5. It will. Once we have the first two, everything else is easy. All we need to do is keep revolving around the circle. So if we add on 360, we will get back to one, add on 360, back to the other. So we can keep adding on 360 to these to find as many angles as we want. So at this first one, 26.6 plus the 360, the full circle, will give me another option. And from 206.6, if I add on 360, then I will see another angle, and I can do that as many times as I wish, adding on 360 to the original pair, and off they go. Now, why am I generating extra angles? The reason being that I have one final step, and the final step is to say that if 2 theta can be all these angles, theta can be, well, 13.3 degrees, 103.3, and here's why we kept going for a little while, that what we can do is we can divide by 2 there, and we're still in range. And if we divide by 2 here, then 283.3 there. And if we care to do so, if we look at the next one, 26.6 plus 360 plus 360 again, divide by 2, the next one will be out of range. And so what we've got is we've got four solutions to our original problem. And that is our answer to our question.
question.